Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Happy Friday to everybody. Today I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. Let's go over my paints. First one is Artist Loft Metallic Blue. My second paint is the Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. Third paint, DecoArt Metallic Berry. Very pretty, very pretty color. I am using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I do have a layer down already. And my last paint is Reeves Copper. And of all the coppers, I, I just love this copper. It's a very, very rich, very rich color of copper. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Squirt of GAC 800 was added to all the paints and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. I am not adding any silicone today. So let's get started. And I'm going to, first of all, I'll, I'll show you the consistency. I did try and thin my paints out as much as I could here today for the Dutch pour. And you can see it just runs right back in there. Barely, barely a trace. And what I'm going to do is just run a line of my copper, first of all, down my canvas. And I did put it in a paper cup because I wanted to just get a thin line of it like that. And then I'm going to try and blow that out a little bit. Put your, and when you're blowing your paint out, you want to put your uh, blow dryer on cool and high. Going to replace that line a little bit right in here. That should be good. Okay, and now I'm going to do one, one flower at a time here, just to try and keep it under control, just to see how it goes. I've watched a couple other artists do it this way and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Dutch pour is the hardest type of pour for me to do. Okay, so I'll just try this first one. See if I can put a little ec extra the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White around it and blow it up on the paint before I blow it out. for now and I'll do my second flower here
and put a little extra weight on that also. And then try and blow that out. Okay, and I'm going to attempt one more here. Just putting that extra paint around to try and blow up on it. take a look at it here a minute and I think what I'm going to do is use my real small um, blow dryer here and blow this out a little bit more and I might add a little more copper again Let's see if I could just Add a little something here and there. Okay.
I'm just giving the edges a feathery look. That's what I'm, that's what I like about Dutch pours. You can give your edges a little bit feathery look if you want. I'm going to turn my canvas this way and work on it just a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at the composition now. I'm going to turn it back the other way again. See if there's anything I'd like to change on it. It is definitely colorful. I think of all the areas I would like to um, scrape off, it's possibly in here. So I can get a little bit more separation between these two flowers. And possibly scrape a little of this off. Try and bring this flower out a little more. And I will have to put more paint down there for that. This I'm just going to cover with the white and then blow over it again. See what I can come up with here.
Okay. like that a lot better and now for this for this little flower here I'm just gonna see if I can um, add just a little color in there <clears throat> excuse me color in there Blow a little out. Okay, I'm just going to add a little more white in here now. Just to fill that in. Just a little bit more blowing on it. But I'm a lot happier with that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy with that. And I will give it a torch. Let's see, I do have some cells coming up here. There's some there. Okay, and I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Again, this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I did a Dutch pour on. 
then up, we have our upper left hand corner here. Purple in here is very pretty. Some nice cells there. Very colorful. I really like how the, all these colors played so well together. And I'll take you over to the middle flower here. Again, some really pretty cells. I really like that area there. And then I'll take you over to the, this is the upper right hand corner. Very pretty. I think that this, this blew out very nice. Pretty happy with it. Given that Dutch pores usually give me a lot of problems. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure that you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.